to uh, the training here. Periscope, Scoping with Purpose, How to Leverage Your Live Video Streaming for Promotion and Profit. Welcome to you, and thank you for joining me in this training. So again, let me just introduce myself. My name is Aldrima Harper. I'm a productivity coach and a professional organizer, and I help entrepreneurs and busy professionals to eliminate clutter and overwhelm so that they can focus on their businesses and be more profitable. I am also the creator of SimplisticOrganizing.com. I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm also an author. But the thing that we want to discuss here today is Periscope, and so I just started scoping in June, and so that's only a few months ago, but I have just fallen in love with Periscope, and so I just wanted to share just a few fundamental strategies, a few fundamental things about Periscope, some things that I've learned over the past few months and some things that you can do in terms of how you can utilize uh, Periscope. And so um, that's what this training is going to be all about. And it's very, very basic. And uh, also uh, what you'll see at the end, there's an offer for some a little bit more intense training. So let's just, just stay tuned for that, okay? All right, so let's just dive into it. This is what you're going to learn. Again, it's going to be some basics about Periscope, uh, familiarizing yourself with it, how it works, how to sign up and create your account, how to use it, what are the benefits, how to implement it, ideas for your video, what not to do, also how to educate your subscribers and optimize your broadcast. So that's what we're going to talk about today. All right, so what is Periscope? Periscope is Twitter, a Twitter's app that's based <coughs> based. A Twitter's app based so what is Periscope Periscope is a is Twitter's app based way to record live stream videos with a twist it was purchased from its developers back in March of 2015 which was not very long ago for 100 million dollars and it was released for Android just a few months ago uh, just a side note, I have an Android, so uh, I have definitely been utilizing it with my Android device, my phone. So what is currently streaming on Periscope? Here's the link right here. If you type in onperiscope.com, that's, I'm sorry, yes, onperiscope.com, you will see what are some of the live streams that's going on right now. And so um, Periscope encourages you to tweet streams that you like. And also Periscope uses a combination of live streams and recorded live streams. So when you go to OnePeriscope.com, you'll see some of the uh, scopes that's, um, that's live as well as some uh, scopes that's um, you know, that was recorded a little bit earlier. So it's a wonderful way to just keep up with what's going on uh, with Periscope and, and find out who are some of your favorite scopers. Hopefully I'm one of them. And let's move on. All right, so step one, familiarizing yourself with Periscope. So once you, uh, and, and you'll, this will make much more sense once you kind of really get into uh, utilizing it. But what you will, uh, you will either see a notice telling you that it's over or that it's ended in, you know, six minutes ago or something like that. Or you will simply join the tour and follow the agent. Now, you'll see in just uh, shortly in the next slide what I'm talking about. But you will simply join the tour and follow the agent around the property building, okay? You can follow it. You can tweet it. You can post it to Facebook. You can ask questions. Now, here's what we're talking about here. This is an example of someone that utilized Periscope right here, um, a real estate broker. He used Periscope to hold a virtual open open house, virtual open house, right? So uh, what he did was, you know, just taking the prospective buyers through the house via Periscope, a live feed, concurrently being publicized on Meerkat, 
on the Meerkat page. Now, we're not going to discuss it, you know, uh, anything about Meerkat. I don't personally use Meerkat, but I think Meerkat was probably uh, on the scene before uh, Periscope, and it's, a, it's, it's live streaming, but it works a little bit differently. So, But again, I don't want to get too much into Meerkat because um, that's not what we're talking about here. And so we're just trying to get you to familiarize yourself with per Periscope and uh, some of the uses that, there, you know, that others are um, doing in order to, um, you know, get the word out about, you know, what they're doing. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. But this is just one example that I wanted to share with you while we're uh, talking about it, okay? All right. Now, step two, how it works and ways people are using it now. Well, that was a, an example in a previous slide, but here's a, a few more examples, a couple more examples. Um, you can demonstrate how to use a product. If you have a product, you know, perhaps you are a, uh, maybe you are a hair care professional and you want to demonstrate how to braid. Or maybe you do, um, maybe you do makeup. And so you want to demonstrate how you, you know, uh, do your makeup or how you would do a client's makeup or, you know, foundation or whatever it is that you, you know, desire to do and give a demonstration on. Uh, another example, another way you can use Periscope is, you know, sharing your daily routine or tasks, such as mixing an audio for music or, you know, things like that. So those seeking to brand themselves use tactics to give fans a peep inside their daily lives. That's the point that I'm trying to make here about this, is that, you know, Nowadays, people want to see, you know, behind the scenes and see how you're doing, you know, certain things, you know, when you are uh, an expert or, you know, an authority in your field. Okay, so that's one example. There's a couple of examples there. Here's one where someone was doing an interview. And uh, basically what happens is, let's just say if you're on um, <clears throat> one periscope, or if you have it open on your phone and you're trying to uh, watch the feed there, uh, you know, it opens up in the left-hand live stream wi uh, window. This is when you're watching it on, uh, on your computer. Now, when you're watching it on your phone, it, it's, a, a, it's a little bit different. So, um, and, you know, we're not going to get too much into that because, again, uh, once you start familiarizing yourself with it, uh, then, you know, you'll get the hang of it. It really is not that hard, but I just wanted to, you know, just cover some foundational things about Periscope. Okay. So uh, here's the thing. When you're doing your Periscope, and I hope I'm not going too fast with this, but I really wanted to kind of get through uh, the material here so that you can, you know, begin utilizing it yourself for your own business. So this is just a few things, just some very basic things that I wanted to share with you. So you'll see at the bottom of your um, your uh, feed there'll be numbers in terms of you know how many people are you know viewing your scope. But don't worry about the numbers. Okay, don't worry too much about the numbers of live viewers because number one, some may be tweeting you know, or Facebooking, you know, your posts and streaming it out to hundreds of people, you know, even thousands of their friends. And you can do that as well, okay? Uh, number two, you can boost your own posts, okay? Like I was just saying, if you share your streams yourself, you can boost your own posts, okay? The advantage of sharing your Periscope feeds is that people will be able to watch your live stream instantly even if it has ended. I mean, I'm telling you, this is really, really an awesome tool to be using in your business. Okay, so before you sign up, follow those who seem really innovative. There are certain, there are certain scopers that I follow, you know, just to kind of get ideas and tips and, and things that they're doing in their businesses and, in the, you know, with their brand. So you really want to follow those who seem to really uh, who seem really innovative and interesting. 
um, set a notebook and you know pen and paper beside you and just jot down some ideas because you will get some ideas while you are watching other scopers okay it's a question of <clears throat> how well live stream will fit in with your audience preferences how effectively you can use it for branding, visibility, sharing, bonding, uh, how to, uh, demonstrations, entertainment, and finally, you know, whether or not it, it's a good fit for your business plan. I happen to use it in my business uh, for sharing tips, which uh, productivity tips and organizing tips, which is more than likely how you discovered me. All right. So next you want to sign up. Well, you want to sign up for your account first, but I wanted to share those things, you know, prior to you going ahead and signing up and creating your account. But here are a few tips for creating your account. Some steps here. Okay, so <clears throat> either you want to go to use Twitter or with your phone number. So the first thing you're going to do, even before you do that, is download the, Scope, the Periscope app from iTunes if you have an iPhone or from Go the Google Play Store if you have an Android. And you can also just uh, instantly access it from the Periscope, Periscope.tv. Okay, you can access it instantly if you're using a, a different device or something. So, but what you will do is you will use either your Twitter handle if you have a Twitter account or with your phone number. Now, I would definitely utilize um, the, uh, if I had a Twitter account, if I didn't have a, a Twitter account, I would sign up and get a Twitter account and then use my Twitter account um, for that as opposed to just using my number. So I would... Create a Twitter account if I didn't have one. If you have one, a Twitter account, then just use your Twitter account to create your, um, your handle or to create your account, okay, on Periscope. Okay. All right, so if you have uh, an Android, let's see, I'm not sure if this is an Android. Well, just any smartphone, okay? You're going to just search for it, open it up on your smartphone, and then download it to your device, okay? And like I said, make sure that, because it will ask, you know, if you have, uh, if you want to, you know, access it with your Twitter account or if you want to create it or access it with just your phone number. And again, like I said, I would use my Twitter account, okay? Choose a username. Decide in advance to make sure you choose the best username for your business or your branding purposes, okay? Next, you can input your own original choice. If it's not available or legal, it will turn red, okay? The minimum number of characters would be two. So you, and, you know, you can go back and just kind of, you know, tweak everything. Once you, if you have a Twitter account, you, you just want to start there. It's going to be a whole lot easier, okay? All right. Starting a live broadcast. Once you've set up your username and an account, you can start your own broadcast at any time, okay? And then simply open the broadcast tab in your, if you have an iPhone, your iOS, uh, Apple uh, phone, or if you have an Android, by tapping the camera on the screen. Now, there's a whole lot of other things before you do that. Again, these are just very, very basic, fundamental things that you want to do to get yourself started, okay? Okay, and for Android, I think uh, what, I, what I did before, back up here, this, um, and the reason I don't recognize, recognize it, you know, um, is because I don't have um, an, uh, an iPhone, I have an Android. And so let me go back here. So this is what it looks like on Android. Now, let me say this, this is, it doesn't, it may, by the time you look at this, it may look a little differently uh, because they're, they've done so many updates. So it may look a little bit different when you go and download uh, this, the Periscope app on your device. It may look just a little bit differently. But the, the process is pretty much the same. What you're going to do is you're going to tap on, tap the red camera icon. Uh, it's going to be in the bottom. It's going to show up like right here, but it's going to look a little bit differently because this is somewhat of an outdated uh, image. Then you're going to enable your camera, your microphone, your location. Okay? 
Uh, let me say this too about the location. Uh, some people are, you know, they are a little skeptical about showing, you know, their location. Um, but as you can see here, it says, don't worry, you can choose to hide your location before each broadcast. So just be aware of that. Here's some of the features. You can make your broadcast private and, uh, or set limits on your chat and or tweet. Uh, tweet your live stream by taping or, excuse me, tapping the appropriate icon above the start broadcast. So, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're ready, when you're ready, you tap the start broadcast. There, there will be a red bar across your screen, ac you know, across your phone screen, and you can tap the broad start broadcast. But make sure you give it a title, but make sure you give it, you know, kind of a descriptive, use descriptive words to attract qualified viewers, you know. But perhaps on your first one, if you are doing your first Periscope, you may want to just I tap in or, or type in something like, you know, this is my first scope, just want to see how it works or something like that. And so, you know, people on Periscope are very, um, very, you know, forgiving and uh, friendly for the most part. And, and you'll definitely, you know, uh, begin to engage, you know, with a new community and, um, and uh, really, you know, just embrace a whole new community. All right, and if you have questions about any of that, you can always go to the Periscope.com website, and then, of course, they have a little um, help section right there, okay? All right, how to use it? One of Periscope's biggest benefits is its interactivity. Gear everything towards encouraging that activity, in, uh, interactivity and immediacy, okay? Here's the secret. Viewers love tapping their screens to like your stream. Just like in when you think about Facebook, you know, you can go like someone's page or, you know, or unlike it if you, if you choose. Well, the language here, the culture in Periscope is that you tap the screen and that you'll see hearts floating, you know, across the screen or up in the screen if they really like what they hear. And if they really love it, they can create a whole cloud of, you know, different color um, are hearts and uh, semi-transparent hearts by tapping on their screen multiple times, okay? It's fun, so give them something to like. All right, what do, what do the hearts mean? Well, number one, you, you count the number of hearts per viewer. And this is not, you know, I mean, really don't get caught up in all this, you know, because it's, you know, not as important. You know, some people do, you know, they're, they have a goal of reaching a million hearts or, you know, that type of thing. But anyway, you know, I, I just don't, wouldn't get caught up in all that. But users are given a color, a heart, when they sign on to your scope. So if you're seeing a cloud of different hearts, and, and that's, that's basically what this is all about. I just wanted to share with you, you know, what it means. So uh, users are they're given a certain color, you know, of hearts, and it just usually means that, you know, one individual, one individual user is sending you multiple likes. So if you see, you know, a whole bunch of hearts, you know, the same color, that means that, that they're tapping the screen uh, multiple times. People can also comment and chat with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's no formal tracking of the hearts. Okay. However, if you look at your own Periscope profile, you'll see a little heart icon under your name and your call sign, if you will, uh, with your total, a number, total number of hearts beside it. The biggest benefits of hearts is that they're an indicator that people are interacting with you live. That's it, really. Okay. So you can recheck your own recordings and see what, at what point the hearts started to flow. Now, following people is a great way to get comfortable with Periscope. So basically all you would do is tap on, tap the people tab for suggestions. And you can find out who's scoping, you know, somewhere near you. And um, you can follow them if they're nearby. You know, it may be someone, let's just say for me, you know, I, I interact with, you know, quite a few people that's here in Texas. 
and so um, you know, and and really have taken the conversation offline uh, and begin to chat with you know those who are um, you know close by or and not necessarily like next door or anything, but you know in in the metroplex and and uh, because that's just another level of connection. Okay, all right. To find a specific person, then what you would do is tap the people screen, the tap the tap the people tab, then tap the little magnifying glass. You'll see that, okay? Like you, this is the people, and then like for for example here here uh, Grant Cardone, if you wanted to follow him, then you would just click on this little icon right here and add that um, to your the people that you're following. So, and if you're already watching a Periscope stream and you want to follow them, you just tap the plus icon beside their call sign. Okay, this is their call sign. And, um, and excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. If you want to follow them, you just tap the plus screen uh, beside their call, their call sign, name, and heart. Okay. All right. So that is what we're looking at here on the screen. Okay. All right, understanding the benefits to business owners. Periscope, business, Periscope benefits to business owners are interactivity, it raises your visibility. If you're conscious of branding, it leads to brand awareness on the part of your preferred audience. And commenting is not a chore to your viewers. It's really fun. You'll find that comments will flood in if they really resonate with your message and what you are saying, what you're talking about, okay? So it really raises your visibility. I have found that I have identified a whole new niche for myself just by using Periscope, okay? So I'll just share just a little bit here about the advantages. If you're doing blog posts versus Periscope streaming video, um, Here's the difference here. The moment your scope, excuse me, the moment your post is published, it is static. It's not interactive. But for Periscope streaming videos, your live video is immediately interactive and viewers are able to engage with you on the spot, okay? Um, if you have a blog post, it may take you in half an hour or so before you even see a comment or maybe even never. But with Periscope, you see comments immediately and hearts, hearts immediately as they are happening. It's instant, okay? Uh, with a blog post, people have to enter their personal data to leave you a message. With Periscope, people are already logged on. So there's no boring paperwork or data entry, <laughs> you know, to make a quick comment, you know. And if, you, if you're already aware you know, with social media, you have to make things easy for people to do because they will not take all those extra steps, you know, in order to do so, okay? With a blog post, people have to wait sometimes days to see if they get a response from you. Uh, with Periscope, you can respond right away, verbally acknowledging them by name and, um, you know, which, which is you know, they love, people love that you acknowledge them when they come on to your stream, okay? How to implement Periscope in your business. I shared a few uh, things, um, in, you know, early on in this, in, in this session where, you know, if you were doing demonstrations or how to, those type of things, that's how you can implement it in your business. But here's just a few, dish, uh, a few additional ways. It offers the chance to share your knowledge and your world, okay? And <clears throat> again, you really want to utilize this because people, we're, we're in a totally different age, a totally different generation now. And people want, I mean, knowledge, you know, it's, Information and knowledge flows like water. However, people, if they get, begin to resonate with you and what you're, what you're doing, you know, then you're able to build community and by interacting with them. And they begin to follow you, and then you begin to follow them, and then, you know, just kind of create a community. So what your viewers really want is a glimpse of the things that they're not able to do and see. That's, what, that's why YouTube is so, uh, you know, it's so much of a, um, an awesome way to be able to, you know, demonstrate. That's why videos are, you know, 
that, that's such a popular way is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, for example, you show them what you're seeing outside of your window or your plane as you travel, you know, or you can show them celebrities arriving for the conference you're attending, you know, or you can just take them stargazing out on a desert, you know. The real key is understanding and knowing exactly what your ideal viewer will find she can't resist, she or he can't resist, okay? So always be thinking about the engagement. What can you say while videotaping that will automatically trigger them to send hearts or make comments, right? Talk to them as if they're actually there, even if no one is watching that particular stream. You know, and that's going to be kind of challenging up front, but you definitely want to get used to doing that. So uh, why, will, why will what you're proposing to film make them, okay? A, want to tune in and join you, and B, inspire them to comment, okay? So, you know, you definitely want people, and you don't just want anybody, you know, following you, but you want people uh, that can identify with what you're saying, okay? Uh, and then how can you use engagement as a business driver, right? You really have to be thinking about these things. All right. Um, ideas for <coughs> videos for you, excuse me, <laughs> ideas for videos you can create, okay? Here are a few ideas. Ideas uh, for coaching, dealing with spirituality or life skills, Guided meditations filmed in a peaceful, beautiful, or relaxing surroundings. I mean, you know, who doesn't, who doesn't want that, right? Uh, for coaches in general, explaining the difference between mentoring and coaching or coaching versus counseling or, you know, whatever that is. You, you know, you want to provide something of value. For team coaches, you want to be able to demonstrate a, like a physical team building exercise, okay? Just make sure these are fun things and that your actors <laughs> are enthusiasts, okay? For fitness trainers, you may want to demonstrate maneuvers essential to fitness training. Just learn, the bottom line is just learn to play to Periscope's strength. Don't do, just, don't just do the obvious, okay? Here are a few mistakes that people make, live stream mistakes, what well, not to do. Not taking advantage of Periscope's benefits, okay? Or forgetting that people who watch live stream, they're looking for entertainment, for the unique, enjoyable, funny, beautiful, most of all, and, and most of all, what they can repost and share. If they enjoyed it, they are more likely to repost it and share with others. Uh, don't forget to use hashtags and tags. This is what makes your videos searchable, okay? Um, not filling out and making the most of your Periscope bio, right? Not creating an easy-to-remember link to your Periscope bio, okay? Creating a username that doesn't relate to your business is a huge mistake, okay? People won't remember it or they won't be able to relate to your coaching. That's why mine is called Coach Dreamer, okay? Um, not finding influencers, to follow, you definitely want to do that and avoid making those mistakes. Some other mistakes to avoid, not managing your streams. This is really important. Do this from your profile tabs. Delete videos, block trolls, and see who is following you, okay? That's a huge mistake if you don't manage your streams. And let me just put a little bit of emphasis on, on this right here, just in case you don't know what a troll is. A troll is someone who abuses, you know, and make, makes comments. Excuse me, let me uh, get me some water here. Excuse me just a moment. Okay, so you want to make sure that you block the trolls, okay, and... If you haven't already or if you're just starting, you will eventually have trolls, and they're just people who say disgusting things in your streams, you know, um, and I don't have to tell you what that would be. You'll know it when you see it, okay? Other mistakes to avoid, <clears throat> not making regular video streams, okay, or a series. 
I do mine on productivity and organizing, I, and I do daily uh, tips uh, for entrepreneurs to in, in, um, empower them to be able to have, uh, you know, a more productive day and uh, not stay, you know, just busy doing things, but how to utilize their time more efficiently in terms of time management, in terms of organizing their files and, you know, all those types of things. My, that, that's what my scopes are all about. Now, I'm doing this one because I want to also help entrepreneurs to utilize the vehicles that's available so that they can um, get more exposure and vis visibility. And these are tools that you can use in your business because I'm all about entrepreneurship. Okay, so not making the time to, where was I here? Okay. Not making use of Periscope TV's ability to allow you to set your broadcast to either public or private, okay? Because you can do private scopes, like I said earlier. Not taking the time to discover all of Periscope's functions and possibilities. Not realizing the number of hearts you gather as a social, excuse me, as a total, as a total directly affects your, your Periscope visibility and popularity, okay? So you do want to get hearts, you know? Um, but don't focus um, totally on that, okay? Uh, not remembering that hearts given during private broadcasts don't add to your total, okay? And you'll discover a little bit more about that um, in the upcoming uh, information that, that's going to be available after this, uh, after this session here. Um, not remembering, okay, next using boring titles and descriptions. Make sure that they're exciting and descriptive, okay? Not taking advantage of the curiosity factor when thinking of your titles. You know, what's, uh, you, know you, you definitely want to make sure that your titles make people kind of curious about what you're going to be scoping about, okay? Not educating your subscribers, on, uh, your subscribers and clients about Periscope. That's why I'm doing this here right now and how to use it. Okay, educate your subscribers. Spread the word, ask them to spread the word. Blog about your new venture. Create a Facebook post and share the app with links to them. Show them how to browse and view broadcasts at OnePeriscope.com. Just start spreading the word, okay? That's why I'm doing this. All right. Periscope tips to share with your subscribers, what the hearts mean, how to use them, how to follow them. That's what I've been doing in this uh, video. How to follow someone and to get notifications when they're broadcasting. I don't know if I said that, but Periscope will notify you when people that you have subscribed to get on Periscope or do a, whenever they uh, begin a broadcast, a live broadcast, you will receive a notification. So be aware that if you want to manage, you know, some of the noise and activities, you will get a notification if you don't shut that off. So uh, how to enable Periscope if they've upgraded to Windows 10. Um, and this is just very briefly here. I actually do not have Windows 10. However, some of your subscribers may do that. You just want to share with them, you know, to click on the Windows icon because as I understand it, it's, it's a whole different animal than like Vista or some of the other um, Windows applications. So, you know, you click on the Windows icon in the bottom left corner of their, of, of their computer. That's where you're going to share with them. Click on your settings. And this is for you, too, if you have Windows 10 and you have not been able to access this on your device. So click on the settings, then click on the background. See here, click on the settings, then click on the background, apps, and make sure that TV is set to on right there. Okay? All right. Let's move on. All right. Optimizing your broadcast. I'm going to go through this quickly. Get in the habit of doing the following. Click on the Twitter bird icon before your broadcast. Sometimes I do forget about that and, uh, because this will ensure that your stream is shared on Twitter. Otherwise, nobody will know unless they are already following you. But you, you're trying to, um, you know, broaden your visibility here, okay? 
Make sure to enable the auto save function on your Periscope app on your phone to ensure that your broadcasts are saved in your phone's gallery. That is extra, uh, ultra, ultra important because you do want to repurpose uh, your scopes. Okay, give your broadcast an eye-grabbing title. We talked about that a little bit already. Keep your title short. Uh, reduce the camera shake, okay? You can study articles, find a YouTube video, whatever, but just use a tripod or a selfie stick, okay? Uh, block users that, you, that leave troll comments. I already just shared that uh, yeah, in the previous uh, slide there. Remember to save your broadcast. If you want replays to be available to your followers and Periscope viewers, make sure to save your broadcast, okay? A few tips on repurposing content. That's what I'm all about because you do want to repurpose your content so you're not, you know, uh, reinventing or redoing your information, okay? So use catch.me to save your broadcast and make them available beyond 24 hours. Periscope will only save your broadcast for 24 hours. So you definitely want to do this. It's very, very simple to... <clears throat> Uh, to do, you just go to Catch Me. Oh, sorry. Ah, went ahead of myself there. Uh, go to Catch.me to save your broadcast. If you if you haven't done this already, just all you have to do is just sign on with your Twitter account, and it will automatically uh, save your broadcast. Okay. All right. Use apps. On offline or online, like 123apps.com, to convert your video to audio and other form formats. And we can get into that at some uh, at on another training. But there are ways you that ways that you can repurpose your content. Okay, um, you can upload your videos to YouTube from your gallery on your phone and repurpose them for free training or video series. Use ifttt.com to create recipes to automate your broadcasts and replays to other social media platforms. IFTTT, if you're not familiar with it, it stands for If This Then That. Okay? If This Then That.com. But it's ifttt.com. Uh, remember to always be thinking of ways to repurpose your content. Okay, now, I have a special offer for you. I hope that you are enjoying uh, this introductory little video, um, but I do have uh, a special offer for you for sticking with me. I want you to take advantage of the 30-minute complimentary discovery session, okay? It is very powerful. People have already taken advantage of it because it is very powerful, and we can go over things in your business to uh, systemize and automate some of your processes so that you can save time, so you can save energy, so you can save money, all those kind of things. So we can uh, figure out, you know, where you are, where you're trying to go, and how to get you there. Uh, secondly, get Kim Garth's new Periscope full course for only $97 and start using it to make sales now, okay? All you have to do is just click on this link right here, bit.ly, scoping for biz, the number four, and then biz. Make sure you do that. Uh, I would love to have you um, learn a little bit more, and let's make some money doing these periscopes, okay? She is an awesome. She, let me just tell you a little bit, Kim Garth made $12,000 doing a 15-minute scope, okay? I think that's important to mention. And so she is super, super, and I mean super, super, <laughs> super good at this and will show you how to make money doing your Periscope. And $97 is really just a small investment for, for the potential. Uh, imagine using or imagine getting a $12,000 sale from a 15-minute scope, and you've only invested $97. Okay, I'll move on from that. Okay, all right, so that's my special offer on the full course 
uh, bit.ly scoping for biz, the number four. And basically, um, you'll learn how to get your first five, uh, 1,000 followers, how to get over the fear, because sometimes, you know, you can be a little fearful about that. The secret to writing kick butt titles, and then how to drive more engagement, and so much more. Okay, so you definitely want to take advantage of that. Just go to bit.ly, scoping the number four, and biz, and it is only 97 bucks. All right, so if you have any questions that I can answer, then please feel free to contact me. Just go to aldremaharper.com via the contact form, um, and you will be guided through just a couple of questions, you know, your name, your email, and what is your, you know, what the question is you have for me. Uh, so definitely do that. Uh, I don't want to take up any more of your time because I want you to go ahead and start making money doing Periscope. Gain visibility, credibility, interact with the community, and start getting people eyeballs on your products and services. Okay, well, that's all we have for now. I want you to have a very awesome day, and we will talk to you later. Have a great day.